the other side of the stage. So, I don't know. Plenty of options for Eric. Let's see what he chose. Yeah, I think, uh, I, you know, Tornado makes a lot of sense. It's really good at the ledge. It get confirmed to the KOs. And what a choice for a me costume setup. That's true. Got... Winning, winning already in my heart. Stan's looking like he's from Assassin's School out here and already getting a pretty big combo string. And that upper is super strong as well. But here's the thing, though. You got to keep Louis Money out because look how easy it is for him to regain that pressure. He hit him with a three-hit string. Louis hit him twice and it was right back to normal. And that's hilarious because he was prepared. And it was still active to knock that tornado back. Mm. Yeah, you know, we, did, we rarely get to see Palutena's, like, reflector, crowner, like, actually work correctly. But, oh, the Louis Money make it work for him. Yeah, that down throw back here to try to true so good. And we, we've gotten a majority of the confirmed set already here. Uh, we haven't seen the up B, I believe, yet. But it yeah, looks pretty I'm standard. It, yeah, it's a chakra set up with the uh, the reflector and the tornado. And there's that multi-hit up B. That's the one I was talking about, where you want to have the ability to control your trajectory back. It makes oh. it harder. See, it's a lot harder for uh, Louis to actually be able to get out there and contest it. Very true, very true. Okay, so we're another chakra. I'm trying to get the lead pressure with the tornado, but unfortunately, Louis Money recovering. But Eric able to pick up the down throw up air. Yeah, that up air is so strong. Such a good move. It just and it lingers too. So even if you happen to try and air dodge it, it's pretty easy at catching those. That as well. Speaking of air dodge catches, that chakra will just it just hits quite a bit. And that I hate that move. That tornado is the so tornado. good at picking you up. It, ba it baits bad defensive habits really well. You want to jump, you want to air dodge. The me sword fighter, they just have to wait and react. That's true, that's true. But look at the percents. Like, even though we saw Eric on a little bit of a tear, he's got some momentum going in his favor. You still see 96% on Eric. Like, these yeah. these stray hits that Louis Money keep getting are adding up. And I, if I can say so myself, you know, the numbers that Louis Money are just way bigger than, uh, than what Eric's putting out. Yeah, it's just that consistency. Paolo's so good at it. Louis's so good at catching on to, like, like if you don't have a good mix-up game, Louis's going to exploit you. Like, he's, he's really good at understanding, you know what, they went for A, B all the time, but they don't have anything past that. So back throw should give him a good state position. It won't KO yet, but a drop-down mm -hmm. nair attempt or maybe a hard punish on something like here, oh. realizing he's going to go high, good job. And yeah, he, should, he shouldn't have a second jump, so I'm surprised that Louis Money actually didn't try and, you know, play a little bit more aggressive in that situation. I think it was one of those situations like, you know what, I got stage position. If he happens to get hit by an explosive flame or if I catch this two frame down tilt, he's just going to die. But it looks like er Eric's still living at 160. A back throw will take it out at this point. So I think that's why you're seeing Eric just making sure those chakra rooms are out and staying safe for the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's picking up oh, tornado, but missing the conversion. That's right. He still oh. made it work. You know, a little bit of custom Ooh. combo for Eric. Still making sure that that stock is gone. But guess what? A little bit of dash dance in your face. Let me break those ankles a little bit. And Louis Money even up the score that dash attack so good but that frame trap was nasty not only did it uh, like if you get hit by the back air you die but the multi hit on that forward air covering that air dodge into the confirm of up tilt as well i didn't even know that was a thing so <laughs> it's just one of those things where if it, even though louis money has an excellent character you also have somebody who's playing a very unfamiliar matchup and that could work at least here in game one i'm curious to see if it gets past this game that's true here we go down throw and dropping down just a little bit lower than usual, Louis Money trying to catch Eric with a down air. And here we go, Eric, back to the game plan. Throw out the tornado, throw out those chakrams. Recover with Nair. I mean, I, Louis Money doing something that we haven't seen him do quite yet, and you know, that's resorting to a little bit more of the projectile game. I respect it. Has. I respect it 100%. Sometimes you just gotta lay the game down. You gotta slow it down a bit, go for zoning pressure, because you got somebody who's been consistently getting in, even though he doesn't have a percent lead, the all of his options force you into a defensive choice it's so easy to get caught by those air dodges louis ain't trying to have any of that it's like you show me you could get in and if you could then i'll deal with you yeah it's almost like you know louis might be taking a taking a page out of uh, epic gabriel's book where he's just like you know what yeah you gotta you have to approach now i'm tired of playing neutral of playing this like head-to-head -head combat get around me and if you can't get around this shield then i'm taking the game I got a small golf clap, by the way, for Louis on that little mix-up that he did at the ledge. He actually kind of, like, faded it. Like, he walked forward, turned around, turned back forward to make it look like he was looking for a jump back here at the start and then went to grab the down tilt. That's something that you look at and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to wait here because he's probably going to jump. Oh, crap, I got hit by this. And the next thing you know, the follow-up was going for the jump read with the back air. He really mm -hmm. did a great job conditioning him into that there. Oh, for sure. Of course, Louis Money being such a top-level player. 
We're we're really lucky to have him here, you know, Ajax. Yeah, he's bad. You already know. <laughs> like like Shaq said, moon, moon, moonwalking on him. Louis Money not against the style, but even even with that, that was so optimal. I love that mix up, and that's on Eric to try and avoid in the future because we've talked a bunch about Me Sword Fighter's ability to control the ledge, but Paolo is a queen at it too. Getting into game number two here, Louis Money up game one. That's right. And of course, you know, Eric, no surprise, actually retreating to try and maybe put himself a little bit distance. Maybe use his own projectiles to his advantage. But Louis Money is on the hunt. Yeah, and there's that up on stage I was talking about before. It's a little bit risky, right? But if you hold on to it, it's hard to react to at some points, and it's easy to get center stage control. So I like the fact that Eric finally pulled that out. That's a true combo for a good while. That's going to get you some solid damage. But now because he got hit quite a bit, Louis go ahead and said, I'm going to reset. Oh, I like the B reversal here, putting himself a little bit of distance, maybe even baiting Louis Money into roll inward, mm -hmm. try and get the cross up. So that was a, that was an interesting setup from Eric. I would like to see see more things like that. Yeah, I like the fact that Louis finally here in game two decided to go real deep for a like a edge guard attempt. He kind of gave him a lot of respect game one, make it look like he wasn't gonna do it. And now that he has done it. Eric's got to think about the timing on that up B a lot more. Mm -hmm. Oh, running right past uh, <laughs> the explosive flame. No fear from Eric. <laughs> Yeah, he's got no no fear at all, no no recollection of trying to keep himself alive. Just like, look, what if I just run in? But if you just jump directly from an up tilt, that is a, a mm -hmm. quick way to run into some problems. That staff is so strong, and of course, it has a damage meter and the strength to launch an opponent very far. It's so good at covering neutral getup too. We just saw it again there. Eric tried to get up, I believe, with a getup attack. And you see, that time, Eric actually didn't jump immediately with the off air. He knew because that Louis money was at KO percent, he could potentially wait. Louis did not take the bait though. Goodbye. Oh, Ooh, the down here came the last it. second. You challenge that? You are crazy, man. First running through the explosive flame and now just challenging the smash attack or almost a fully charged smash attack from Louis Money. Okay, Eric, you can see why you've made it this far in the bracket. Eric rocking a titanium pair if I've ever seen one. The fact that mm -hmm. he has run straight at explosive flame and then, oh, oh. Yeah, that is, that right there is so good against so many recoveries. All you need is just one hitbox to the like, clank at the bottom and it just pushes him down. But there's that uh, second hit of F uh, forward air again, confirming it's off tilt. Yeah, you can even drag that down a little bit. If you can confirm it low, that is just a true combo and there's nothing your opponent can do. They just have to smile and take it. But, oh my God, a couple of fairs. Louis Money spacing out Eric, which, uh, you know, the plus play with the sword getting spaced out, that's a, uh, that says something. <laughs> yeah, and he's doing a good job at it too, because not only is he using that fair as like a yeah, just kind of spacing tool, but then he made it seem like to Eric, hey, you can preemptively call up my jump, and then he switched it up to the nair. Like, it's just, it's so... It's so hard and annoying to deal with when you're trying to figure out how do I beat them on air to air? What? <laughs> Palu wins almost every time. Mm -hmm. Very true. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Apparently from North Dakota, I didn't know that state still existed. So let's go, Eric. Uh, <laughs> but Eric out here coming in with the wave land, catching that, uh, you know, catching him sleeping a little bit at the wheel. At 99%, here's the thing. Me, Swordfighter, has plenty of kill power. So Louis Money actually has to play this way. Chill back mm -hmm. and give him some respect. Yeah, give, go back to that zoning play style where you're either throwing out projectiles or you're spacing with forward air. You saw, um, I would have. Man. Oh my. I can't believe he got away with that. If Eric down aired right there, Louis might have just been dead. <laughs> Not <laughs> so, believe he got away with that. that yeah, you gotta be good. You counting your blessings right now. And Louis, you see Louis only doing like two projectiles now because he saw Eric was waiting for it last time, found his opening, and ran right in. <gasps> yeah, yeah, the whole guy, oh. <laughs> yeah, KO percent, he's gonna jump around you like that, waits for the option. Yep, see, doesn't react. Interesting, right? Like, I, I understand oh. that like Eric wanted to wait out and see what Louis Money does, but you could have at least like put out an empty hop to bait Louis Money. I feel like you gave him too much space at the end right there. And that interaction gave Louis Money the space he needed to just recover for free. Yeah, 